my style is layered, eclectic, bohemian, colourful, full of pattern, a lived-in, cosy feel. My grandmother's house in Kenya is one of the old houses built in Nairobi. She sort of decorated it with a bit of a European influence, with sort of old chintzes and European fabrics mixed with African pieces as well. The style of the house just feels incredibly lived in and layered and old. It doesn't feel like a new house. I live in the house with uh, my husband, Timothy, and our three children and our two rescue dogs, Gracie and Blaze. We chose to live here because we liked the old feeling of it and also the big space that it has. It's great for the children running around in the garden and just has a really lovely atmosphere and lots of character. The starting point for Arthur and Gabriella's room, I would say, would definitely be the beds. Always loved bobbin furniture, which is that turn wood which looks like little balls. And I actually saw those beds in one of my suppliers' workshops here, sort of in the corner, covered in dust. And I think I got them for $100 for the pair. I saw that wallpaper, which I absolutely fell in love with, and I just loved the way that each plate has a different animal within it. And actually, I can hear George sometimes sitting in his cot talking to the animals and pointing at them. I can see him on the monitor, which is so sweet. I loved the high-pitched ceiling in there, and I painted it blue to give a sort of tented effect. It's just so quiet at night, so all you can hear is the crickets, and it's just lovely. My paternal grandmother was from Scotland, but she was one of the original supermodels in the UK. She was Christiane Dior's muse, and she was on the cover of Vogue and Vanity Fair a number of times. She was also an artist and was very creative. She would take us on painting trips and really encourage that side of things. So yeah, she's definitely influenced my creative side. My favourite place in the house is the sitting room, especially in the morning because it's east facing, you get the sunrise and the light in here is just so beautiful and it's quite peaceful and the bird song is amazing. The best thing about having my studio at home is the convenience. It's just amazing to be able to walk down eight steps and be in my office. When I started working in interior design, it just felt natural from day one. I just loved it. Most of the fabrics that we use in our projects and in my own home are all quite small boutique artisanal brands. I know most of the people who weave and print them personally. I think that creates a really unique look within my projects that no two are the same. I got to know Elizabeth when about two years ago, I was introduced to her by a friend and then engaged her to design my new home. When we worked on my house together, it was very much a collaboration, not so much a formal client and designer relationship, but we were collaborators, co-conspirators, thought partners. 
My favorite spot in Elizabeth's home is probably the gallery walls in the living room. It says a lot about her core design aesthetic, which is that it's all very collected. Everything tells a story. It's not too perfect. It's not too precious or, or too done, but it's transportive as well. The Japanese woodblock prints we've collected over the years in auctions, when we were in Japan. I love the theatrical element of so many of them are scenes from plays. We hung them inspired by Monet. He has in his house outside Paris, he's hung them floor to ceiling throughout his whole dining room. We've moved in here with no children. The importance of this house to our lives, it's immense because this is where we went from just being two to being five. I'd say the ATAP we use, especially at the weekends, I mean, we're probably there nearly all day, some days on a Saturday or Sunday. It does feel like you're on holiday when you're out there. The house is such a loved home and it's just got so much personality and character already within it. Since we've lived in this house, we've had couples in their 80s and 70s uh, visit the house unannounced uh, because they had brought up their children in this house and it meant so much to them that they came back to Singapore specifically to visit the house. So, you know, it's given a lot of other people a lot of joy. It's given us a lot of joy. Yeah, when we moved in, there was a message written under the stairs, wasn't there, from the previous family saying, we've loved living in this house so much. We have the best memories and we hope you do too, which was, yeah, yeah. just... We'll have to leave the same message. Yeah. <laughs>